Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Hearthstone. Let me just adjust my microphone here. Don't think it's quite right. So there we go. So this episode is going to be a little bit different from the ones before because first of all I'm going to be playing my brother. He doesn't know that I'm, I'm recording. Second of all I had to change regions to play with him because right now the Americas region is down. So that means that I've only got one deck available to me. Actually two now. Uh, because I defeated the Warlock in practice mode, so now I have a Warlock. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys the Warlock with a secret game against my brother. <laughs> it's going to be great fun. So, let me see, I've already constructed my Warlock deck, it's a very basic thing. only got 10 out of 20 basic cards. So let's see how we do against my brother, who's also relatively new. I think he started playing today. <laughs> yeah, is it being a bit impatient with me? Okay. Custom Warlock, as you can see, 10 out of 20 basic cards. This ought to be interesting. Filling up loading bar. Gul'dan versus Oh, he's got a priest. Okay. Your life shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. And I'm going first, so. Eh, uh, not too bad, these cards. Actually, I'd like to swap him out, see if I can get something cheaper. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Very nice. Opponent is still choosing. Come on, Bradley. Bradley Lovers. <laughs> I thought he had a different name. Okay, so, first, Why play our Void Walk. So Greetings. Let me threaten him, the punk. Your soul shall suffer. <laughs> Indeed, it shall. The light shall burn you. Oh, shush and play. There we go. All right. First things first. Aggressiveness. So, guys, yeah, I think I'm still going to use this episode to show you the cards, since it's the first time you're seeing me playing a warlock. That's just a nice, very useful taunt in the beginning there. And, um, him, have you seen him? He's got charge. I showed you charge in the first episode. As you saw there, he could attack in his first turn. And all Bradley's doing is healing himself, so his options must be limited for now. Why do you you <laughs> there we go. That's the thing. The warlock. The key is to have a lot of cheap minions and just rush attack him. The famous, um, what do they call it, zoo deck in a, in, a, in a warlock is quite powerful. Come on, Bradley. Ooh, he's got the injured blade master. I don't even have that in my, in the other region. That's impressive. But of course, that was not very clever to play at this stage because I'll just throw out my Yeti, kill the Blade Master, and attack him. This, I, I'm not drawing the best cards, he says. <laughs> yes, indeed. I know how that feels. I know how it is. Come on. Next. Oh, he's just healing himself, is he? Okie dokie. Wow, he really must have must be having a bad time. If he couldn't play anything there. <laughs> this is really quite a slaughter. So here we go, that's our standard Yeti, a solid card, 4-5 for 4 crystals. And this here is the Guribasha, Guribashi Berserker, which as you can see there gains plus 3 attack if he gets damaged. A any time he gets damaged. So yeah, it could be quite powerful. That is a really bad card, Bradley, you shouldn't be playing with that card. Although, that could be useful, and if he's got inner fire, then I could have a problem. 
Hmm. Well played. So, let's see. What will I do? I think... Let's just throw out my raptor. No, wait. Let's, let's grab a card here. Or should I throw out my ogre? Yeah, yeah. That's the best option. Ogre will help me take this thing out next next turn. There we go. I'll leave him out, just because it's pretty useless killing him when I can kill the guy next turn. My ogre is just a solid 6-7, and now of course my Kurubashi has 5 attack. Oh, mind vision. Yes, indeed, mind vision. That can be fun. Uh-oh, if he drew Hellfire, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, if he drew Hellfire now, then that's the only card he should play right now. Oh, well, that was pretty nice. Still not going to save him, but, but nice. And also, while you're playing, you'll see that there, on the sides here you get these sort of things and you can interact with them that can break can break the windows of the church and the bells ring and you know various little useful things while you're waiting for your opponent to to get on with it. Now throw out some more minions and attack his face. Oh yes, and the hero power for a, a warlock is to draw a card, as you saw, for the cost of two health, which can be very, very useful. Believe me. Well played. Come on, Bradley. Give up Not now. Quite what was planned. <laughs> I wonder if he knows about the concede button. I must consider. Handle it! <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to get onto chat and, and maybe teach him a bit. Because he has only started playing, so this was bound to be an unfair fight. But anyway, I got to show you guys. There we go. <laughs> he knows about the concede button. But I got to show you guys the warlock. I think I'll play my warlock again. Priest unlocked, very nice. In this region. I got corruption, but um, yes, I think I want to play my warlock again in my next, in my next. I mean, in the other region where I've already got quite a few good cards with him, just to show you his potential. Because as I said, this was just a basic deck because I'm in this region, and Bradley wants to go again. <laughs> but okay, guys, I'll say goodbye to you guys because I I don't want to humiliate my, my brother on, on public YouTube too many times. <laughs> when he's a bit more practiced in the game, then I'll come back and fight him again. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a like because it helps my channel. And I am going to fight my brother once again. So, uh, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>